Hi, my name is Lisa Reinemann, your St. John's Riverkeeper. I'm here to share with you why we are a proud member of the Free the Ocklawaha River Coalition. We are a force of organizations across the state, more than 33 of us, working to restore the natural connection of Silver Springs, the Ocklawaha River, and the St. John's River. The Ocklawaha River restoration is more than just restoring the Ocklawaha. It's truly reconnecting Silver Springs, the Ocklawaha, and the St. John's River. Um, just going back in time, this has been a project that advocates have worked on for more than five decades. The Rodman Dam was completed in 1968 as part of the failed Cross Florida Barge Canal that was halted in 1971. Unfortunately, the dam severed the natural connection between the Ocklawaha and the St. John's prior to the canal being stopped. In as early as 1993, state and federal agencies recommended partial restoration. Partial restoration means breaching the dam at the natural river channel and reconnecting that natural flow from the Ocklawaha to the St. John's. In 1997, the governor at the time directed partial restoration, but there were concerns by the Water Management District. They completed a second study at that time to relieve those concerns. In 2002, the U.S. Forest Service completed a formal environmental impact study. This study was conducted with state and federal agencies once again recommending partial restoration and Florida accepted restoration responsibility Unfortunately, the dam remains in place today. In 2012, uh, the RV Corps and other federal agencies recommended the Ocklawaha restoration as mitigation for the dredging project that's underway. And in 2016, the Water Management District completed a decade of restoration study during the drawdowns and said that this restoration project is permittable. In 2016, St. John's Riverkeeper formally established the Ocklawaha Restoration Project as a priority due to the scientifically documented benefits to the St. John's River, to the St. To, to Silver Springs, and to Northeast Florida. So when you hear about Ocklawaha River Restoration, we wanted everyone to fully understand this is not about one river. This is about three rivers. It's about Silver Springs. It's a project of regional and statewide significance. Unfortunately, the restoration has been held hostage by local interests. This is not a science issue, it's a political issue, and we have to make sure we're broadening the understanding of the statewide benefits. Here's a map of the Lower St. John's watershed. Until recently, all decision-making regarding the Rodman Dam have been taken place in Palatka. Putnam County is in the area to the left, but the benefits of this project, and more importantly, the damage of the dam that's in place every day, is actually expands over the entire Ocklawaha River watershed, the Silver Springs watershed, and the Lower St. Johns River. In addition, there's benefits to the Middle St. John's that we'll talk about in a moment. So the decision making of this should not be made in one county with, that negatively impacts other counties, other watersheds. This needs to be looking at the greater good, the greater benefit that are at store if we move this project forward. And I think Chris Farrell recently of Audubon, Florida said it best. Nowhere else in Florida would a single project produce such a large scale restoration. We can bring back a lost cypress forest, a free flowing river, and improve connectivity across many ecosystems. This project is all about that natural connectivity. So let's look at it by the numbers. The Oklahoma restoration delivers a strong return on investment. And we're just looking at this point from an ecological perspective. More than 500 plus manatees would be able to access extremely important and rare thermal refuge during cold winter months. Right now, as manatees are growing in numbers thanks to protections, we need to make sure there's plenty of warm water for them to find refuge in the winter months. In regards to the St. John's River, more than 150 
million gallons a day of fresh water would be restored to flow naturally into the St. John's from the Ocklawaha and Silver Springs. This will offset growing concerns about saltwater intrusion, thanks to the deep dredge as well as sea level rise. This is significant and no other project uh, or restoration or anything on the books could deliver such a powerful punch of fresh water flow. In addition, water quality will be improved throughout these waterways by the restoration of 15,000 acres of cypress forest would be restored. That's forested floodplain, which are some of the best biofilters around. That 15,000 acres of restoration is worth more than $1 billion of ecological services based on our state's mitigation value calculation and due to water quality improvements, flood protection, and the habitat they will provide. In addition, migratory patterns for fish will be reopened and restore not only the Ocklawaha, the migratory runs, but also the St. John's River estuary. 20 lost springs would be uncovered and their natural flow would provide fresh water as well as a, is a outdoor um, opportunity for ecotourism and millions of dollars would be saved in ongoing maintenance. The numbers are uh, add up and they are tremendous. Uh, if you haven't experienced the lost springs of the Ocklawaha in person, you can do so, so with a film by Matt Keane and Margaret Margaret Tolbert is a springs artist and she documented the lost springs of the Ocklawaha. And every time there's a drawdown, you can experience this beautiful um, natural amenity that would be available if the Ocklawaha was restored. In addition, the cypress forests, they're the sequoias of the South. They're giant cypress. There's 7,500 acres of destroyed cypress due to the pool they were crushed back in 19, the late 1960s. There's also 8,000 acres of forest of floodplain where these trees are dying because they're not getting enough fresh water flow. Restoring these giants would not only provide critical habitat, but also that biofiltration that all of these waterways need. And this forest destruction continues. Every three to four years, their drawdown of the pool allows the drowned forest to reappear and these trees start producing seedlings. They try to come back and unfortunately, as the drawdown comes to an end, the forest is once more flooded and these trees, this forest is lost. But the restoration of the Ocklawaha would also provide expanded habitat for endangered species from wood storks, panthers, black bear, it provides connectivity for both birds, mammals, as well as fisheries that need to have that connectivity. Many people have gone to Silver Springs over the last decades after the dam and have been curious about the missing fish. These fish populations will be restored if that, that fresh connectivity is restored from the Ocklawaha to the St. John's, connecting Silver Springs to the St. John's River estuary. Not to mention the manatees. The free-flowing Ocklawaha will provide warm water refuge for hundreds of manatees that currently rely on warm water discharge from power plants, as well as springs that are available like Blue Springs. Anyone that's been to Blue Springs State Park can tell you it's a money driver when people flock to come to Blue Springs to see these gentle giants. But too many manatees can wreak havoc on Blue Springs and other springs. So having more habitat not only protects our manatees, it protects our springs. And then of course the increased water flow to the St. John's. The St. John's River estuary is suffering from too much salt water. Years of deepening and dredging the St. John's has created too much tidal force for the Atlantic Ocean to go further upstream. In fact, the tidal range has more than doubled since we began deepening the St. John's. Now sea level rise on top of the dredging is causing more saltwater intrusion and planned water withdrawals in Central Florida could add insult to injury. It is critical that we restore freshwater flow to offset the saltwater intrusion so our submerged grass, grasses and wetlands can be restored to provide that filtration, habitat, and flood control that nature intended. 
So just to wrap up, again, this is a focus on Akawaha restoration. It is critical to the restoration of the St. John's River. And here's a summary of the benefits specifically to the St. John's. Restoration of critical freshwater forested wetlands, a total of 15,000 plus acres of forested floodplain, which provides the best biofilters available to our ecosystem. Water quality improvement, you get that enhanced biofiltration as well as more freshwater flow, lower temperature, clearer water, all of that adds up to better water quality in all rivers of the rivers impacted by this restoration. The dilution of increased salinity, this project will make the St. John's more resilient to sea level rise by offsetting that saltwater intrusion that we see increasing each year. An important habitat restoration for fisheries and endangered species. Not only does the Ocklawaha restoration restore the Ocklawaha River for migratory fish, it also makes our estuary much more resilient which is critical because the nurseries of our fisheries, not only in the St. John's, but in the Atlantic Ocean. So we're very pleased to announce that on April 14th, American Rivers designated the Ocklawaha as one of their most endangered rivers for 2020. While you don't think we want to celebrate it being endangered, it is a milestone because this restoration project is getting national recognition for the importance of what it can mean to the state of Florida. It also creates a roadmap for Governor Ron DeSantis to truly right this wrong and be a river, river hero for North and Central Florida. So the federal and state agency science is solid. All of the benefits that we just discussed are highly documented in the environmental impact study conducted by the federal government, as well as ongoing studies by the Water Management District. We've met recently with the, the governor's chief scientist, Dr. Tom Frazier, and we believe that the science continues to be very clear. Unfortunately, we have a political problem. As we discussed in the, in the very beginning, the decision-making has been held hostage by people local to the dam, and we haven't had a look at the more regional ecological benefits, the ecosystem-wide benefits, as well as the economic benefits that will result from this project. So what can we do? We have to come together and give this restoration project a voice. If you love the St. John's, you need to also love the Ocklawaha River, and we need to work together to make sure together we free the Ocklawaha. There's some simple things you can do. First, fully understand the benefits of the St. John's. Understand what it means to our river, what it means to Silver Springs, what it means to all of our rivers, so we can spread awareness about freeing the Ocklawaha. You need to participate in social media campaign. Right now, the Free the Ocklawaha Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram page have wonderful stories about the significance of this project. If you can share, with, share them to your networks to build awareness, that will help build our army of advocates. Join the coalition at freetheoklawaha.com. Join us to make sure that we are making this project that's just as significant for Florida as Everglades restoration. Let's make it a reality together. Hold a, hold a virtual movie viewing. Lost Springs and other Free the Ocklawaha films are available to share and they provide the history, the beauty, and most importantly, the opportunity of working together. And last, stay tuned for action alerts. It's stjohnsriverkeeper.org. Unfortunately, now we are all at home. We're all threatened by COVID-19 and the coronavirus. So we know now is not the time to call our gover governor to be the hero he can be by making this project a reality, but we will engage focusing with local elected officials statewide and our governor, and we'd like you to be involved. So please stay tuned for action alerts to come. So thank you for taking time out of your busy day to join us um, to understand why your St. John's River Keeper is a proud member of the Free the Ocklawaha River Coalition. We need you, our army of advocates are standing by, and we hope you'll join us so we can all celebrate reconnecting the natural connection between Silver Springs the Oklahoma and the St. John's. Take care and be safe.